Hello, 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 welcome back. Uh, we are going to break down some uh, analytical writing once again, referring back to Code Talker. All right. And first, I'd like you to find this tan prompt and I'd like you to bring it right on over to the upper right hand corner by state your topic. All right. It reads prompt a character trait describes the personality. What character trait accurately describes Ned? Write a TDA. Take a moment and make your paper look like that. Noise. Now, the first thing that I ask you to do is to state your topic. I'd like you to look at the two gray blocks, or the three gray blocks, but one is red, right? So look at the two plain gray blocks. Which of those do you think should go by state your topic? Which of those two should go there? Take a moment to do that now. All right. So if you landed on characterization and code talker, you're on it. All right, which leaves our other gray. How does inhumanity become routine? Well, that goes with engage your reader. It goes right over there because when you engage your reader, you interest them. And it's as it tends, it turns out, um, engaging your reader with a question is a good way to do it. Now, please find this green quotation down here. All right, it is a quotation that's in Navajo and the translation is, what are you doing? Well, go ahead and put that down there at the bottom right next to quotation from the text. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, just like last time, we are going to line up a few things and use your own words after a quotation. First, we're gonna put this noun verb right there like that. And we're gonna line up with three different choices of nouns. One possible noun is the word rebellion. Another possible noun is the word question. Uh, another one is the one rule breaking. And before we choose which of those three is best, I'd like you to bring this over here and match this word up to either rebellion, question, or rule breaking. Please match this picture up of the, of the strengthened uh, Native American now, please. All right. Now you see this person holding the world on top of their shoulders, right? Atlas, I'd like you to find a place where you think he belongs. Which, By which of these nouns do you think he ought to go? Take a moment and find a place where you think you might put Atlas next to one of those blue uh, nouns. Do so now. Nice. Now, now that you've chosen your noun, it would be a great idea for you to finish that sentence. Go ahead and finish that sentence now. Good work. Okay, good job, everybody.